Joining us, that rescue happened early this morning on a farm just west of Decatur. The horses are now being housed at the 4-H grounds in Monroe. That's where volunteers are trying to nurse them back to health. It's our top story tonight at 6. That's all donated. It took about 40 volunteers. The news spread like wildfire in Adams County. Two and a half hours. They were all loaded into trailers, brought here to the 4-H grounds. To get 37 horses. Small horses, big horses, old horses, young horses, pregnant horses. Out of a bad situation. All these animals are evidence of, of a criminal case, and we have to maintain their health. <laughs> The Adams County prosecutor filed an animal cruelty charge against the owner of these animals, Rick Hill. Police don't know where he is right now, but they say he was neglecting the horses to the point that many of them were malnourished, sick, and some even dangerous. Weight loss in the horse can be an insidious thing where it's a little bit over a long period of time, so it took a long time to get to that way, and it takes equally a long time to go back the other way. Police say the state veterinarian board has been getting complaints about the farm on County Road 500 North in Adams County for years, but the condition of the horses has never been bad enough to take action until now. Let me get one ready for you. From here, volunteers will care for the animals in shifts while criminal charges make their way through the legal system. After that, the sheriff is unsure what will ultimately happen to the horses. I spoke with the prosecutor this afternoon, and he said health officials are doing exams on each horse. When those are complete, it is possible the owner, Rick Hill, could face more charges.